Yo, yo. Uh, Samuel Engels here, and I'm just gonna, like, do a video basically talking about my growth on dreams, and how I went from nothing to what I am today. Now, it all started with, like, this game I've seen on screen, a little bit of Planet 3D, and this is basically the first game I made on dreams, so as you can see, it's pretty, uh, not very good. Uh, I literally barely knew how to code, I didn't even, even know how to literally do anything. Basically everything you see in here is just three models I used. This game is not that good but it is a starting point so therefore I'm going to be talking about it a little bit. It's well based on a little bit of Planet, what was uh, an original game making engine, sort of like Dreams. It's just that like, well, as you can see here, I actually don't know what I'm going with this next game. What on earth is this actual game, man? Anyway, this is the spooky house. <sighs> yeah, it's like, basically my first horror game, technically with actually working logic. I know, shocker, shocker on the bocker. But, I'm also putting this game here, because even though, as you can see, it looks utterly horrendous, it is a very big starting point, as I started to sort of learn how to do code. Even though, basically, it's used someone else's and modified it a little bit. But remember, this is, um, ancient but this game basically revolved around well just in this big hallway go through a vent there's water there's a snake grab key leave you win not really much to go off here but i want to bring it up because it is a major point next up is uh 16 at goofy goobers once again and you're basically thinking about well, this kind of actual trash well you're correct because it is trash <sighs> but i'm gonna have to keep it in because not only one I like this game, but also it. Oh my god, scary. Anyway, this game basically started a whole bunch of other games, and that's when I finally started learning how to actually animate properly instead of using action recorders. But I went dead right on that. Most of these games were basically all the same 12 am at Joe's Farm, Bob's Nightmare, that game sucked, and. Well, there's a whole bunch of others you've probably seen on the screen right now, I don't know. But these games basically followed all the same formula but had a sort of smart AI, it would like, if it bumped into a wall it would go around it, but if it was chasing you, then it had zero pathfinding, it was, it was completely horrendous. I'm not even gonna like bother to explain what the hell this game is, I just want to know that the past couple games you just saw were all made in 2020 or 2021. This game is quite literally the first game I made of 2023 and therefore, I'm actually not really even going to cover it. But, we do have other stuff to talk about now. Now I'm just going to like let these next couple clips speak for themselves without like really much commentary because these are like sort of like near a golden period when I start to get much more better. So let's enjoy some of these random things. This is Greg by Daylight, uh, Dead by Daylight sort of game I made. E even though back then I didn't even know what the hell Dead by Daylight was, but yeah. Welcome to my Never Adventure. This game is, well, what you expect, it's based on Minecraft, it's not fairly good, actually no, I'm sorry to say not fairly good, this game is actually fairly decent, it's just not completely finished, it's only one level, one test level. It's made by me and one of my friends, it's based on just, well, Minecraft as I said, it's like a fighting game. Now, of course, as you can probably tell, I'm not really, I don't really make fighting, action or platforming games really, I like to make, um, you know, horror. The spooky, the scary, that's so. So, you can obviously tell some of the flaws in this game, but I'm going to stop yapping. Why yes, all of the old games I just showed have really bad horror logic. This one had unique stuff, this had pathfinding, this had a better visual, it had better graphics, you can see a big step up from Little Bit Planet 3D, actually uh, edit and sound, put a video of that please. Uh, yeah, this game... Oh, what are you... Look, see? 
the enemy has actual working pathfinding, but there's not really much substance to the game, you know? You just grab the meat, or from the meat cooking area, I don't even know what's going on there. You feed it to Scooby-Doo in the crawler, you grab the key, you open the lock, you get the key in a jail, you win. Why was there a key in a jail? Don't ask me, because we're not talking about law, we're talking about gameplay and code. Uh, next up, what you're seeing is uh, Lost in the Blizzard. This is actually a game I made with two of, two other of my friends, uh, those being GH Trooper Sonic and uh, Darkstar76. I did mostly the enemy logic and most of the like objectives and stuff. GH did uh, most of the characters logic and Darkstar did the voice acting and no fire. Now, it's our second Dead by Daylight game. How badonkers. Ain't that crazy? Now. I, I'm, I'm sorry that I keep on saying now. You probably get very tiring, but now. You can obviously tell. Uh, I'm not sure if you played Dead by Daylight, but this is just a recreation of one of the maps, one of the killers. And this is fairly pretty good, actually, because this killer actually, or monster AI, had actually unique logic. It could circle you. It could try and duke you out. There was like, um things you could bolt over, unfortunately you don't in this video clip, I don't bolt over anything if you jumped off a high ledge you would get slowed down the end game collapse was a thing that was added, as you see it just got hit there and uh, yeah it worked sort of similar to Dead by Daylight this was back, this was in the time when I actually started learning more about um, Dead by Daylight and whatnot. and it's one of the main inspirations for most of my newer games, surprisingly if you didn't know that Duh, I doubt you really want to see me play this full on match, so I'll probably just skip to the next game in 3, 2, 1. Boom Shakalaka, this is uh, The Dark Island, uh, one of the very few non horror games I have on my profile. This game is based on one of my friend's characters, and. Well, it's a physics based game, sort of like um, Taps, uh, as you see on the screen, Taps. And, this game basically revolved around uh, defeating a whole bunch of these, well, dark creatures and whatnot. You could camouflage, sneak up on them, they had like ragdoll physics and it's uh, quite a fun, it's a pretty good piece of code and it's actually the amazing piece of code I've done actually. With the whole ragdoll spotting you, you sneaking up with instant kill and them logic, it's incredibly well and this is, this is basically near like uh, the middle point, I'm not really sure the middle point but you know, very good point. So, yeah, next game, please, in 3, 2, 1. I said 3, 2, 1. 3, 2. Endless Halls of the Backrooms. This is a. Okay, do, do you generally need me to explain this? This is a Backrooms horror game, but it's open world. I know, crazy. <laughs> what the? F oh, sorry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. This game has a multiple levels, multiple different things, no endings, but you can explore like a whole bunch of levels. I'm pretty sure there's level 0, level 1, level... I, I'm not going to even bother, so you've got to get bored if I label all of them. But looking in this um, stuff in the background, you can obviously see what I was trying to do. I was trying to make the back rooms to as true as the wiki says, because... Uh, something you're going to see quite a lot happen is me try and make game adaptations of things that don't have games. So, yeah, it's a warning. Actually, no, not a warning, because you're supposed to look at this video. This is a uh, uh, Lacey's Restaurant, based on the YouTube series known as uh, uh, Lacey Flash Games. I would not recommend looking at it, trust me. If you want your mentality to go down the road, then sure, you can go ahead and watch it. It's very disturbing. Anyway. So, uh, this is basically a story mode version of the first, like, couple episodes, I'm pretty sure it's like four out or something. But, basically, the first part of the game helps you, well, you grab up to three objects if you would stop giving me burger. So, yeah, you have to pick up three objects and it will have, like, a little night guard section where you have to defend the rest of them from a monster. But then the game takes even more disturbing routes and whatnot, just like the original series. So, as you should see, actually, where was Please, please not another burger. Please, please not another burger, I say. Please, I'm back on my hands and knees. Welcome to the bunker of Boofy. 
this is, uh, well, another remake. But it's not a remake of an actual game. I know. Crazy. But this game has quite a lot, as you can see, multiple levels. First one being this bunker. Next one being the back rooms with the kinetic image. Next one being the kitchen with that burger thing. The next, and the other one being Mr. Arcady with, um... Well, a whole bunch of enemies, that green thing, the hippo dog that gets angry if you don't ring its bell, that delete data droid that can delete an enemy or you from the map, and that weird blue thing that I forgot what it does. This game has tons of content, as each level you beat will gain you a trophy in the menu. It also has, well, holiday challenges, and also has uh, idiot challenges what are designed by my friends and me. So, I would say this is probably one of my favourite games I've made, and... Unfortunately, it's not that popular for some reason, but, you know. Now, this is... I'm not really going to talk about this game, but I'm going to really talk about where this game is. Because this is basically at the end of my games library on Dreams, basically, Sherlock Holmes, the trilogy is. Uh, it's not really much. It's basically sort of like the, uh, well, Wicked House that this, this game is. You collect a couple of things, survive on the monster. The monster may have some sort of special ability. But what I really want to show you soon is the unfinished game because that's the games i want to show you the most of because those have the most time and effort i have a couple of those uh show you so let's actually go over to them right now okay Jurassic call fpe shaggy so wait a sec is this my best game oh hell yes it is this is uh well the fundamental paper education game uh, another series on youtube for Gore, shit, weird fan base, uh, tons of views, you know the deal. So I decided to make uh, into a game on Dreams, and uh, spoiler alert, it's actually uh, my most popular game on Dreams, with a whopping like 300 plays. Oh! Uh, yeah, I actually got scared of that. Anyway, this game has, well, the main mode was just like the original stuff, where you have to collect tests, escape from. Have you know the enemy and whatnot, but it also has a whole bunch of like mini games and stuff that reference the original source material and fan made content and whatnot, like this or other stuff. But this game is incredibly popular for some reason, it's like my most popular, as I just said. But I just decided I have to quickly add this in because, well, it's very popular, and I also just wanted to add this in. Also, that's from Fire Drawing. But yeah, now it's time for the interesting stuff. Hey, look, what the Oni? This is based on a uh, A Oni. This is a uh, work in progress game. It's the first work in progress game, and it has characters as you can see with here. Mm, very nice. I think very cool. It has settings with. Oh, I didn't go to settings, but it has a play, has lots of stuff planned for it. It has like. It has multiple different like enemies that can spawn. You can switch your characters, multiple objectives, multiple different endings plan. Plan on having the game released by this year at least. The game is basically almost done, I just need to make the map and all that. But as you can see where there's gameplay. There is a lot of stuff already still in development right now. So, yeah, let's get to the next game.